Hey everyone, how's it going? Fredder the Music here. And yes, you read that right. This is a sturdy Shedinja video. Um, I managed to do this on a double OU battle. Um, and if you thought Soak Shedinja was cool, this is even funnier. And this battle is absolutely nuts as well. Okay, so quick team breakdown. Uh, I have a car bank, and the reason why I got the car bank is because it has sturdy and skill swap. I believe it's the only Pokemon that does. Um, and given that Carping speed is not the best, it only has a speed set of 50, that's terrible. Um, I decided to give it max speed and then also choice scarf, so it, it moves before a lot of Pokemon after all the, uh, the speed multipliers. So basically, I just needed it to do, um, to do skill swap, and then it also has explosion just for fun, because uh, Shedinja won't be hurt, because it has sturdy. Um, okay, so, I have a Mew, and this Mew is because it has Worry Seed. I, I chose, I, I needed a Pokemon that had either Worry Seed or, or like Simple Beam or something that changes my ability to something that's not uh, Wonder Guard, because Wonder Guard can't be skill swapped. Uh, so in this case, I looked up which Pokemon that have Worry Seed, and then Mew was a good choice just because it's all around good, and it's, uh, it's an OU. Uh, so as you see, I've maxed out speed as well. Um, and so, yeah, Mew was really only for the very first turn where I swap, um, Sorry, not where I swap, where I get Worry Seed on Shedinja. And then this is the Shedinja itself. I always put a Lumberry on it because status conditions are what kills you. Uh, you know, poison and burn, you're dead unless you have a Lumberry. Uh, obviously it has Wonder Guard, and then I use Protect, Shadow Claw, x Scissor, and Sword Stance. I think those are the same moves as in my Soak Shedinja technique. Um, so, basically what happens is, I send out Mew and Shedinja, I uh, use Worry Seed, and then swap the Mew out, Protect with Shedinja, Carbink is now in Mew's place, and then I use Skill Swap on the Shedinja, and we should be good to go. So, uh, without further ado, let me show you. Ah, uh, I can't talk. Let me show you exactly how that works in action. Resize the window here. Boop. And three, two, one, go. All right. So, battle against Morgendorfer. He has no idea what's coming. Mew and Shedinja. I use Worried Seed. That works just fine. Bug Buzz doesn't uh, hit me because it's not super effective, so... Oh, it's also not directed at me, I just realized. Alright, so, I got my attack up. Use Protect, you turn out to uh, Carbink, and everything is currently working as planned. Carbink tanks that. Uh, Shinja is protected from Stone Edge, luckily, that's why Protect is absolutely essential. And then, uh, his Ditto transforms into me, and, um... Yeah, I get that skill swap done, so Shedinja now has 30, and I am all good. I just use skill swap one more time to fuck with my opponent, and uh, yeah, I am lucky that um, <clears throat> the Ditto didn't transform into something else because I could have gotten my ability swapped away if you know they weren't both sturdy. Uh, so at this point, uh, I'm actually poisoned by the Ditto, and that's when I had the Lumbery. I was like, Jesus Christ, you know, I needed this thing, uh, so then I just need to get that Ditto out of there as much as I can. Uh, so I use Protect, and then uh, get rid of that Ditto slash Carbink. So, everything's going very well so far. Shedinja has Sturdy, and it's really the only thing helping me right now, so, uh, you know, it better work. Okay, so at this point, I, I think I'm going to speed up this uh, battle because it, it goes on for a long time. Basically, he keeps encoring me into using Protect, um, and actually, let's see... Here's the thing, I thought that once I got to a certain number of Protects and I couldn't use that move anymore, I thought that I would struggle and kill myself. And uh, you'll see, I even um, I even tell my opponent that, um, that I, I'm probably going to die, and he agrees with me. Uh, so I, I still was going to go for it, I wasn't actually going to, um, to, to surrender, but then take a look at this. Okay, so... The Encore ends as soon as I run out of Protect, so I had zero Protects left. Encore fails, I'm able to kill him using Shadow Claw. Boom, I've got my moves back. And, you know, this scumbag, I bet he thought he was going to struggle me to death. Nuh-uh, not happening. Game on. And so, um, as you can predict from the rest of the battle, I actually do win this. Um, and yeah, I'm very happy with this. I think this is even cooler than the, than the Soak Shedinja. I've never seen this actually pulled off before. Uh, so I am very happy with this, and uh, I think that's worth a like. Hit the like button, subscribe, and share this video. Yeah. So it's basically just back and forth from this point onwards. Uh, I didn't want the Venomoth doing anything to me, uh, so I made sure I killed it, um, or or just attacked it as much as I could. Uh, it does get a bit slower soon. I think you'll see soon. 
Uh, he tries to put me to sleep, and he does. And it's like, you know, why bother? You're gonna lose anyways. <laughs> so I'll speed it up a little bit. Uh, once that starts happening. Boom, check that out. Mega Seizord is dead. As you can see here, I wake up, finally able to get that stupid Venomoth off the field, and it's just Illumis and Crustle left, and yeah, he does not stand a chance. Sturdy Shedinja for the win, hell yeah, I don't think I'll ever get this again. <laughs> Anyways, if you thought this was freaking cool, um, give this video a like and share this with everyone you know, because I have never seen this before, and I'm very proud of this. <laughs> <laughs> quite frankly. Uh, so, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll have some more Pokemon Showdown for you another time. Peace off!